There are extant three portraits of this famous outlaw and Jacobite leader, all three taken from life, and each representing him dressed in this peculiar tartan of alternate checks of red and black. It is not improbable that the harsh and cruel prescription of his name, his clan, and its insignia, may have led to the adoption of this peculiar and neutral tartan by Bob Roy. Robert McGregor Campbell, which last name he bore repugnantly, in consequence of the Scottish Parliamentary Acts passed for the suppression of his clan, was a younger son of Lieutenant Colonel McGregor of Glengyle, an officer in the Scottish army of James VII, and his mother was a daughter of Campbell of Glenfollock. Thus he was well born, but when is uncertain. He was certainly, however, active in the scenes of warrant turbulence subsequent to the revolution. His own designation, says Sir Walter Scott, was of Inversnaid, but he appears to have acquired a right of some kind or other to the property of Craig Royston, a domain of rock and forest lying on the east side of Loch Lomond, where that beautiful lake stretches into the dusky mountains of Glenfollock. In 1691 he was engaged in a predatory expedition into the parish of Kippen in the Lennox, under the plea that he had a commission from King James to plunder the rebel Whigs. The peaceable inhabitants had to flee for safety and leave their property to the rapacity of this banditti, who seized upon cattle, victuals, furniture, etc. Rob was a gentleman drover, and in those days the cattle were escorted to the lowland fairs by highlanders in full array, with all their arms rattling round them. Rob Roy's importance increased on the death of his father, when he succeeded to the management of his nephew, MacGregor of Glengyle's property. He became involved in money matters with the Duke of Montrose, and their quarrel ended in Cobb challenging his grace. Eventually he took refuge in the mountains with one thousand, given him by several persons to purchase cattle, and in 1712 a reward was offered for his apprehension. From that time he was deemed a broken man, and his landed property was attached by regular form of legal procedure, which he defied with the sword, and then his lawless life began, under the shelter of the Duke of Argyle, who, according to the Highland phrase, accorded him wood, water, a deer from the hill, and a salmon from the lynn. Dotty maintained a predatory warfare against the Duke of Montrose, whose factor, Graham of Calerne, he made prisoner, and whose rents he drew on more than one occasion. Rob was long-armed and a matchless swordsman. Lord to Raleigh's regiment, the South British, now Royal, Fusiliers, was also employed against Rob and his followers, without avail. In 1715 Rob was at the Battle of Sheriff Eo. In this battle the Highland right wing, consisting of the Stuarts, Mackenzies, and Camerons, swept Argyle's left off the field, and had the MacGregors charged King James had won the day, but for some reason unknown, Rob Roy retained his position on a hill in the centre and failed to advance, and eventually carried off the baggage of both friends and enemies. His lawless life went on year by year, till the government built a fort at Inversnaid, the ruins of which still remain. Rob stormed it, disarmed and dispersed the garrison, and gave the edifice to the flames. General Wolfe, when a regimental officer of the 20th foot, once commanded there. It was re-established, but was again taken and demolished in 1745 by the MacGregors, under Rob's nephew, Gliloon Dim. In his old age he expressed contrition for some acts of his life, and his wife, Helen Mary MacGregor of Cromar on Loch Lomond's side, is said to have laughed at his scruples, but he rebuked her, saying you have put strife betwixt me and the best men of the country, and now you would place enmity between me and my God. He died on the 28th of December, 1734. His grave and that of Helen are still to be seen at the east end of the old ruined church at Balquida. They left five sons college Ronald, James, Duncan, and Robert. The latter shot a McLaren in feud, absconded, and escaped all search. He was wounded at Fontenoy in the ranks of the 42nd Regiment, returned home, and married a daughter of Graham of Drunkey. James MacGregor, with the rank of Major, led the clan, many of them armed with scythe blades in the campaign of 1745, and was wounded at Prestonpans. He was afterwards a prisoner in Edinburgh Castle, from which he effected his escape, and died in France about the close of the 18th century. Two years after this, 
In 1754, his brother Robert, or Robin Oig, was executed in the grass market for the forcible abduction of Ms. Jean Kay, an eccentric but wealthy widow of 19 years of age, a charge which was never sufficiently proved against him.